something that's very commonly needed. It's a custom link in a menu. We're going to add them to this navigation menu up here. It's not always apparent how to do it. So I'm going to show you two ways to do it. The first way is going to use the old menu section under the appearance menu inside the WordPress dashboard. The other way is going to show the new navigation block inside of Gutenberg. So let's go into our dashboard and go to appearance and then menus. And we have a menu already. If you don't see a menu here, select your menu from this drop down and click on select. It will load your menu down here. Just make sure it's the correct one that you're editing. And then we open this custom links section right here and we just put in the link. This can be a link to a different website. It can be a link to a secret page. that's not actually a WordPress page on your own website. It could be an anchor link. So if you wanted to go to the services page, but you wanted to skip down the 10th paragraph, you would then enter an anchor link right here. I have a tutorial showing you how to create anchor links. Link to in the card above in the description down below if you need help with that. For now, I'm just going to link an external page. I'm going to make it my website, wplearninglab.com. Link text to be Learn WP. Click on Add to Menu. If you like this video and you find it helpful, this is a great time to tell me by subscribing and clicking the bell button so you don't miss future videos. And if you have any questions or comments about this video, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. Now let's get back to it. And there's our custom link. By default, the menu item appears at the bottom. This is going to be the far right of the menu if it's the horizontal navigation menu. If it's a vertical menu, this would be at the bottom. If I drag and drop it up to here, it's going to appear third. If I drag and drop it and have it be indented, it's going to be a drop down menu below about. I'm going to keep it as the main menu or the main top level menu. Click on save menu. And now if we go check out our site, bada bing, the new link is right there. If we click on it, bada bing, it goes to the website. So that's all working perfectly. Quick note, this menu structure that we set up in here, that's used inside the customizer, that's used inside page builders like Elementor and Divi. If you have the menu that you have selected here already in the templates inside the page builders and you add the custom link, it'll just be added in to the menu in the page builder because they pull the menu right from here. So that's a nice bonus to have, but that is also the old way. The new way as a WordPress 5.9 is doing it in the full page editing inside the block editor. So if I go to themes, I'm going to show you what I mean. I'm going to activate Brixie and we see under appearance menus is gone, but I can go to editor and in here it takes us by default to the, to the home page where we can now edit the menu system at the top, but you can also be taken to anywhere else. There's also a lot of other templates you can edit, a lot of stuff you can do with the new full page editing in WordPress. I've got a tutorial though where I go through all that, all the new features as they currently are, linked to the card above in the description down below if you want to see that. For now, we're going to add our custom link to here. We see it's now gone again. If I refresh out here, or go back to the website. This is the menu system we created inside the appearance menu section. If I now refresh, it's gone. This is a menu created with the block, the navigation block that's newly introduced with WordPress 5.9 as well. The navigation block is right here. If I click on any one of these links and then click on this little icon, that selects the whole navigation block and we have a little plus. That plus allows us to add a link. That link can be a page or a post. You can search for them here or you can type a URL. So here I'm going to type in my website address again and then you can just click here or just hit enter and there is our link. And I can edit the text, let's make it learn WP, and there you have it. Now to move it around is a little trick here. You can use these six dots to drag and drop it, which is kind of a pain. You have to align it just right. You have to get that horizontal bar. See, it's currently over here. If you miss the spot sometimes, and sometimes it appears right there, it's kind of a pain. You can also use these arrows. That's way easier. So you can put it right there as the third one again. Click on save and save again. Come back out here and refresh. And now we have our custom link using the navigation block in the new WordPress full site editing. And this video is part of the WordPress skills playlist on my channel. That playlist is all about getting up to speed with WordPress if you're new to WordPress. There's a link to that playlist right up here in that card. Click there to watch the whole playlist or click down here to watch a video that shows you how to create jump links and add them to your menu systems. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.